All right, hey, y'all. Happy Monday. It's Monday. I've made my day. I've gone to my meetings. Been a kind of productive day today. How's everybody? Y'all, those COVID numbers are going up. I know a guy, a young man, he has, um, he's a, he's a real dad to his kids. And so he's got three homes where his children reside and every home where his children reside, everybody that got COVID. So please be careful out there. I didn't go to church yesterday. Uh, last Sunday, I wasn't at church because I went to, um, Gavison to the beach for my grandbaby's birthday. He said he wanted to go to the beach. He wanted a dinosaur cake, go to the beach and stay at a hotel. So we did all that. Um, he had a good time. And, um, so I just, I got my first vaccination. I said I was going to wait six months. So I waited the six months. So I got my first one and I go back on the 18th and get the second one. So I'm just going to stay kind of like quarantined until I get it. But yeah, so it's a lot of sick people, y'all. Yeah. Um, it looks like it may be about to rain. So I want to come on too and talk real quickly, real briefly about something. And I'm not going to talk about any case in particular just because I don't want to offend anybody. But this is what I want to talk about. I want to talk about accusations and the consequences. And so if you're an entertainer or if you are a, usually if, if, if there's been, um, if you're in the workplace, for instance, it depends on what your company policy is, but you're in the workplace, somebody make an accusation that you assaulted them, sexually assaulted them. So what you'll probably do, like I said, it depends on the company and what they do. You'll most likely be suspended pending an investigation or whatever. And then once they get well, all the facts, they make a decision. Um, but if you're a public figure, you're an entertainer or whatever, someone makes an accusation against you, you start losing your job, your contract, your endorsements, your sponsorships, and all that. So it's, 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 and I've talked about this before, where is the due process of the law? So you accuse, and I mean, this happens to a lot of men, but it can also happen to women too, because let's, let's face it, there is same sex discrimination, uh, uh, harassment, opposite sex harassment, third party, all that. So, you know, um, I just feel a certain type of way in the fact that somebody can accuse you of something. There has been no investigation or anything, but just because you have been accused, you lose your rights and privileges, your employment, like I say, your contracts and all that. And then what happens is after the investigation is found to be that uh, you're innocent. But then you've lost all these things, all you know, things you worked to accomplish. You've lost, you've lost that. And then sometimes once you lose that, people just don't ever want to put faith in you again. And so I don't know. I just feel a type of way about that. I think that before we start accusing people or convicting them based on accusations and not facts, I just think that it's. I don't. I find it harsh. I just do. And look, I'm coming from a place of love because I like to look at all situations. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to just... Yes, people do some evil, low-down, conniving, manipulative things. But if you've never witnessed it yourself, what makes you consider that person guilty? I'm just saying. You know, as a mother of an adult male, as a sister of adult males, you know what I'm saying? Cousins, aunt, all that. I'm just saying, where do we draw the line? Where does it, where does it state that you've been accused of something and you lose everything that you work for? I'm not talking about no. I'm not talking about one case in particular. I'm just saying the procedure. The process, the loss, um, the consequences, just all of that. I mean, seriously. Because uh, I, I often think about that. Remember that NFL prospect? I think it was NFL, was it NBA, remember? 
and a lady he was getting ready he was he, he would have been drafted and the lady accused him of sexual assault he didn't get the contract and he spent so many years in jail and then she said that that wasn't true but there was no way he could go back and get all of the opportunities that he had lost though and when I saw that picture of the man, he was grand. Yeah, my hair, look, I, you know I do my hair in the morning. Since I didn't go to church, I did this morning. And it's kind of limp. It wasn't all the way dry. <laughs> That's why I look like that. But yeah, so I, I don't know. I just try to give people the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this in no way saying that the accusations are untrue. I'm just saying give the person the opportunity to defend himself before you automatically start taking things away. You can say, look, we're gonna suspend whatever, because look, if, if a person does something like that, if you sexually assault somebody and you wrong, and, and they got proof, like stuff like that hard to prove because you can be in an intimate relationship and then change your mind or whatever. I'm just saying, y'all, it's, it's complicated though. It is, it really, really is. And you wanna do the right thing, and you don't want anybody to be hurt. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I'm just one of those people. I, 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 like I said, I like giving people the benefit of the doubt because, you know, things are not. Sometimes things aren't what they seem. Like I said, I'm not talking about any case in particular. But remember, Deshaun Watson a few years, a few months ago, actually, they were talking about, um, they were talking about uh, some some of the masseuses or whatever had said that he had. Um, touched him inappropriately or whatever and then he they said that he had proof where he after that the day of the uh, supposed incident he had actually gone back for their services and so they were like well if the, if if he did if he did that why would you go back so <coughs> excuse me I don't know what happened with that I don't know what was the outcome but all I'm saying is let the due process I, I said let the system work. But is the system really going to work if you automatically, after because somebody accused you of something, you will automatically lose everything? When you even haven't even had your day in court. I don't know. I just, it's. Life is hard. I mean, any given day, especially somebody that has a lot to lose, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that, uh, maybe worth millions, billions of dollars, and somebody accused them and they start losing contracts and things like that, and it affects their livelihood, their marriage, their children, you know, all of that, their family. Because listen, I'm like, if somebody I know hurt, I hurt. It ain't even gotta be my family. I just don't like to see people hurt, and I just don't. Now, I'm not condoning, listen to this, listen to me, listen to me. I'm not condoning anybody sexually assaulting anybody. I don't cause see a pet peeve of mine. Y'all know that if you really know me, I don't like to see anybody mistreated. I don't. I don't like loud, obnox obnoxious people. I don't. I think everybody should everybody should be treated with respect. And see, I'm one of those type people. I don't give more respect to entertainer than I do just an average person. Cause we all God's children. The Lord just blessed you differently. But respect everybody, y'all. Respect everybody. Respect each other. Now, I'm 